Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss two functions on power query list dot last and list dot last and so basically we want to find out what is the last element in the list or what is the last n number of element in the list so that's what the objective is so what we are going to do is we are going to create a quick table out here so I'll go and create a table here uh, with few elements let's say a uh, few uh, rows and let's say let me give two three five six seven nine I think you have anything here and let me call it data six and let's me say edit I'm not loading I'm just directly going to the edit mode so that I can do the transformation there now uh, we will try to use column as a list but first of all we are going to do this operation as a static operation so what I'm going to do is um, let me uh, do this thing so a uh, list uh, and uh, we are going to say last so let's go ahead and say list dot last and here I'm going to give a list manually by myself using the angular brackets inside the angular bracket I can give the elements I'm giving the numeric elements right now so I said last and there is a default argument if there's a, a blank value or the list, list is blank basically so if the list is blank then we can default some value and we'll test it out how can we do that so list dot last and we say that so fourth is the last element so we should get four one two three four fourth is the last element in the list so we are getting that now uh, what happens if the list is empty so we go to the list we make remove all the elements angular bracket angular bracket that's how we are creating an empty list and we are saying default it with zero when the list is empty and that's how we got it uh, so we got zero now so what happens if we have not given zero so let's look at that use case also what happens if we don't give zero so it's going to give us none now what happens if this there is only one element what do you mean by last there so first and last is same in this case we are going to get one so let's add few more elements here so we say for, uh, this one and let's say eight and let's say even double digit number 99 so we are going to get uh, I said 8.99 uh, let me say comma so so we got this 99 now we will try the other function um, n so n is basically is going to give a, return you a list out of the list and give you n elements from the last so uh, we will say last n and then here we are going to say list dot last n okay so list dot first n list dot last n so list dot uh, uh, last n we are using here and we are going to give a list again angular bracket 1 comma 4 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 something like that and then we close uh, the list using the angular bracket so angular bracket to angular bracket and then we say okay give us three elements of this so last three elements so we should get six seven and eight here or eight seven six so let's see let, so I click on the empty space and I see six seven eight so last three element is the one which we are getting and can we get anything more than that or more so let's make it five we have six elements so we're going to make it five so we are going to get five elements and I can give even a number bigger than the list size I can even say 10 but it's going to restrict itself to six because we only have the six elements here so one six element we have so even if we give a bigger number it's going to uh, have that many elements now the next operation which I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to make it minus one so what happens when we make it minus one so it's going to uh, give us an error uh, so because that's not exit but we can have a zero actually here so by giving zero you can get an empty list here so last zero and is going to give you a list but that's an empty list now how do I give a column here now I want to give a column here so in both these steps so what I'm going to go is I right click and open the advanced editor and take the table name so it should be the last step table name here I'm going to use the second step table name so it should like if I'm using here I should use uh, edit custom column if I'm using here something then I should use change type so I'm going to use the change type and I say cancel here and I come out and then I go to this edit column and either using the setting icon or double clicking on it I can go here and instead of list I can simply go ahead and give this table name and the column which is there column one and let me copy this this is the same thing we are going to use in the other uh, one also so I'm going to say okay and then you can see nine because this is the ninth is the last number in this column as a list okay now we go to the other one where we say last n and instead of now this staticness I'm going to give this column and again this same number is going to repeat because see we as a column we are giving this complete column we are not applying any rule how much it should take so we got this last n and then 
So last time the complete column and we are right now saying zero, it's not going to mean anything for us. So we want to say three. Give us the last three elements in the list. So we should get six, seven, and nine. That's what we are getting six, seven, and nine. So uh, we are able to use a column. We are able to use it on static list. So go ahead and try this out. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.